Shapiro back with news from our state capitol tonight. The law that could lead to major changes for California's fast food industry is once again on hold, and its fate could ultimately be left to voters. 17's capitol correspondent Aton Wallace reports tonight on why a judge blocked that law from going into effect, and he has reaction from supporters and opponents. Well, opponents of AB 257 hope the judge's ruling will mark the beginning of the end for a law they have long opposed. But supporters of AB 257 tell me they will not give up in their efforts to support the law. AB 257, it's a law that could change how California's fast food industry operates. <laughs> Called the Fast Food Accountability and Standards Recovery Act, it sought to create a council made up of fast food workers, restaurant corporate representatives, franchisees, and state officials, all to set industry standards like wages, hours, and working conditions. But now, AB 257 will probably not go into effect until at the earliest 2024, when voters will likely decide whether it should even go into effect at all. It's bad public policy. It certainly lead to business closures lead to a decrease in economic opportunity for folks in California. Jeff Hanscom is with the International Franchise Association. They, along with the California Chamber of Commerce and the California Restaurant Association, have long opposed AB 257, arguing it will increase costs for businesses and customers alike and force franchisees out of the state. Now they support a referendum effort from the Save Local Restaurants Coalition to repeal AB 257 via a ballot measure during the 2024 election. Last month, the coalition turned in one million collected signatures. If more than 623,000 of those are deemed valid, the repeal measure will qualify for the 2024 ballot, and AB 257 will automatically be put on hold until then. In the meantime, the coalition sued the state, arguing AB 257 should not go into effect in the new year while the signatures are being processed. A judge agreed, halting the law most likely through the 2024 election. We we're certainly supportive of the judge's ruling. But not everybody is. Last summer, we introduced you to fast food worker Crystal Orozco as she and several of her fellow workers lobbied with the Service Employees International Union, or SEIU, in support of AB 257. We want to be able to keep up with the inflation. We want to be keeping up with our bills every time something goes, you know, every year our rent goes up. They're making all the profit and we're here struggling, scraping by, you know. And it shouldn't be that way either. In a statement, SEIU International President Mary Kay Henry said in part, no lawsuit and no threat of a referendum will stop workers from organizing. But as it pertains to AB 257, those supporting the referendum argue it should be the voters who get the final say. We're confident that consumers, voters, will recognize um, you know, the negatives of 257 uh, and ultimately vote no. And the state's signature count and verification process is expected to be complete by the end of the month. Referendum organizers tell me they are confident they collected enough valid signatures to qualify for the 2024 ballot. Reporting from the state capitol, Aton Wallace, 17 News.